I think all of us are trying to find something to make life meaningful uh, and worth living. And for me, doing this gives, makes my life meaningful and is important. Over 25 years, there are times of, of, of great struggle and despair and questioning and wondering, why do I do this? And, and this is too hard and, and are we really having an impact? And what keeps me going is the, the firm belief that what we do matters, that I have to do this. It's important that we connect as human beings. It's important that, that these stories are told and, and that these artists are supported. Part of our job as artists is to give voice to the voiceless, is to continue to awaken and to reawaken people to the important issues, whether they be moral or ethical, then this is the home that I want to be in to be able to do that because these are the people who believe in the same things that I believe in. I love you. I love your eyes. Your lips, your smell. Yes. Tonight, I finally speak. You listen, I whisper. We both wanted a, a theater of our own, that we could present our own work and the work of people we love and the work that we fall in love with. Cadmus founded, why have you come here and what is it that you want from me? White voice milk incense and hear hymns and prayers and the cries of people weeping. It is obvious that you are upset, so I, Oedipus, whom you all know, have come myself to find out what is the problem. Old man, tell me what is bothering you. Are you afraid of something? Do you have something to ask me? I will do what I can. I'm not without pity. I am not a man without pity. Yes. <laughs> Concern for the sanctity of the printed word makes me suspect the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Which is that you have literary ambitions? <laughs> you don't get theatre like this in this town unless you have people who are absolutely dedicated and who are prepared to work that hard to make it happen. People are stop breathing! My revenge! Fountain is a gift to LA and to the actors who live and work within LA. And everything they do counts. Yes. Every production counts in some deep way. Black with silver bangs, bangs, bangs all down her back, back, back. I was seven when I first laid eyes on Jean. I saw this little boy, a little older than us. He was nine and in the fourth grade. He looked like he was wearing a suit. It wasn't a suit. There was the formality <laughs> of a suit. I went over to him. Why are you wearing a suit to play the All of us is playing that stuff. You don't never play with nobody. I see you by yourself all the time. You want to play with us? I know you're in the fourth grade, but you could be with us. It was a button-down shirt. <laughs> I think that the Fountain Theater has amazing taste. There's shows that entertain. There's shows that make us think, you know, and not every show is doing all of those things, but each show is really contributing to an important part of what it means to be part of a community and to contribute to the thriving and the um, uh, healing uh, and the wholeness of a community. When we sit down at the end of every year and talk about what are we going to do next season, our process is always centered around 
communities. What community needs to be served? What is an issue that a specific uh, cultural group is wrestling with right now that needs to be addressed? I didn't know that this was going to happen. Me neither. If I knew that this was a possibility, I would have stopped at a CVS to buy a condom. <laughs> Although, I'm not sure what kind to buy. It's like laundry detergent. There's so many options. <laughs> That's what I, I, uh, I strive to do uh, here at the Fountain, is that, that you come here to be part of a conversation of something that is alive and important and needs to be addressed right now. This play especially gave you so much to think about. I, I, I was feeling uncomfortable because I was feeling uncomfortable for the people sitting next to me. It, 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 it just, it's sort of raw. And I think that's good. She has a, a lovely, peaceable son who teaches elementary school in South Central. But he's also a broad-shouldered, bald-headed, big-bearded black guy. And, and, and when somebody gets shot, as they frequently do, it weighs heavily on her. And I, and I can see it in her expression. She's carrying it around, worrying about what might be happening to her son. Another emotion is a, a sense of relief that someone is telling the story. Because of course I do know that others share my experience, but being reminded of it somehow makes my burden lighter. We love you, we love both of us. I actually admire you for your patience and love and compassion for our family. And um, I wish you great happiness and joy. And I'm very proud of you for your 25 years at the theater. And I hope you thrive and flourish in the years to come. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's been very interesting to see this, um, to see him work like that, where he, when he writes a play, for example, he's so deep in his own mind that you kind of, you're, you're sitting down like you're eating, we're eating dinner, and we can just, we all look, look at Dad, and he's just so intently focused on what he's writing that he's completely, like, gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's in another world right now. And it's, it's amazing to see. Stephen has always been uh, impressive in his creation working with the actors and making it a, a good experience for everybody around. He's uh, an actor's director, an actor's actor. The fact is he's a brilliant person and uh, he's also has the ability to listen. He's very compassionate. He's very uh, understanding and um, tolerant. And he just you know, works beautifully with people. This theater is his life's work. I'm, there are moments when he will share with me, and I don't know if he shares it with anybody else, how one person will have walked up to him. This makes me, one person will have walked up to him after a show and told them how much he was moved, whether it was somebody who was deaf or somebody, um, you know, a Jewish person ask after Asher Lev or, or during Heart Song or, or, or whatever it is, one person has walked up to him and said to him how much they have been moved and how much this particular play and experience has meant to them. And that goes right to the heart of Stephen. For me, uh, it didn't take long uh, at the fountain for me to be uh, invited into the family, as it were, and that was so important to me. It, it, it gave me permission to be who I was and to be the artist that I was, and it became uh, home. <laughs>